Good morning, folks. Welcome to RenManMusicAndBusiness.com. My name is Steve Rennie, and I am the Ren Man, and this little program is called Ren Man Live. There's a point where you have to kind of move yourself and say, okay, who's the audience for this music? Mm -hmm. What's special about this artist? How do you differentiate? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's like any marketer with mm -hmm. your product, if mm -hmm. you will. There are a million bands out there, you yeah. know? And how do you differentiate? Just because yeah. you have money mm -hmm. and expertise, but you've got to be in a little bit better, and that's when you talk about the role of the label. The role of the label is to do, that's a huge part of it, is to differentiate and to actually add value. What do they spend on a brand new act that's not proven themselves? Now, now it's really in increments. They want to see it in stages. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, that what is that stage checking? It's probably fifty to $100,000 mm -hmm. in marketing. Mm -hmm. Any brand, you, anytime you see a band working with a brand out on Warp Tour, it's not necessarily because they love the brand. Mm -hmm. It's because we've carved out dollars within our deals mm -hmm. to support those bands. Yeah. But take a step back and win the hearts of the fan with your yeah. brand. Being involved with it, so a commercial, your music is a backdrop to something, is becoming a legitimate and powerful tool of exposing music to people in places where they are instead of worrying about why they're not on K-Rock or your yeah. favorite radio station. I probably had my first marketing meeting at Warner Brothers well over a year, year and a half before, before that first album came out. Um, just to start talking about ideas on, you know, you know, what we were going to do, what new things out there we could could use, because um, that's how just how long it takes. You're talking about singles. You're talking about artwork. You're talking about web. Actually, getting out there, um, meeting these people on the road, talking to them, getting feedback directly from them. That might not be the scientific way to do it. Um, but I think it's it's probably the most accurate and rewarding way to do it. The company you keep with other bands will dictate to some degree who your fans are going to be. Yeah. 